Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'll talk about how to apply Singapore visa and who can apply Singapore visa. What are the documents needed for Singapore visa? How much is the fee structure and what is the processing time? I'll be explaining all of this in this video. I'll be sharing all the information with you. My only request to you guys is do not skip this video. If you skip this video, you will miss out a lot of information and you may get scammed or even if you're applying to a local agent, he may ask for extra fees. You will have an option to ask them why you are charging extra or this is the fees, how much is his commission. So without wasting any time, let's get started. I do not make want to make this video too lengthy guys so i'll try to make it cut short and i'll try to provide you all the information step by step again my request is do not skip this video try to watch this video till the end without skipping so that you will have all the information handy before applying for a singapore visa first and the foremost thing who can apply for a singapore visa you as an individual directly cannot apply for a singapore visa you have to go through an authorized local travel agent who can apply for a visa on behalf of you like if you saw my malaysia video you can directly go to the malaysian portal and apply for a apply for a visa yourself but in singapore that is not the case you as an individual cannot apply for this visa you will need help of a local agent who has access to apply for a Singapore visa. So the first and the foremost thing, what is the fees of the Singapore visa? So the first point I want to talk about is the official fees of a Singapore visa is $30 guys. So $30 means if you convert like $10 is like 800 rupees. So it will be somewhere around 2400 rupees. But the agent whom you go through might charge you 500 or 1000 extra based on his convenience or his duty fees. Like for example, the official fees is $30. See, he might charge you $10 on top of this or $15 on top of this. So whenever you're trying to apply for this visa through a local agent, always try, to, you will easily come to know or always try to find out what is the commission that he is charging because you cannot apply this visa individually on your own. So the first point we covered is what is the fees. So the second most important thing I'll try to show up on the screen is the documents required. So when I speak about documents required, the local agent would be asking you a set of documents. So the first document you would need is a Form 14A. Form 14A is nothing but an application form which is required to fill all your details, your occupation, your passport number, your passport expiry, your last and last port of entry, all these things you'll have to fill in your application form and the application form is nothing but 14A form. And the second point here that we want to talk about is the photograph. So you have to, you have to provide a photograph which is at least taken three months before you submit the application. Do not uh, submit a very old photograph of yours as a lot of people do. So please do not uh, try to submit an old photograph of you. Try to keep it uh, a latest photograph which is taken at least within three months of your application date. And the third most important thing is you have to submit the photocopy of your passport. That is front and back and the passport should be valid at least six months before you apply for a Singapore visa. So let's say your passport is not six months uh, valid and uh, the local agent might say, okay, let's give a shot. But once you pay the fees and it's not refundable, it's clearly provided in the ICA website. That is Singapore uh, ICA visa website is clearly mentioned guys. So try to, uh, try to produce um, your uh, passport, which is more than six months valid. If it is your passport is not renewed, I've made a dedicated video on this. So try to refer, um, I'll try to link it here, how to renew your Indian passport online. And the next thing that you need is B39A form, which is similar to an application form, but you have to provide the intent of a tourism purpose, which the local agent would be filling on behalf of you by taking all the details from you. So when I went to Singapore, that's, that's what he did. He collected all the information locally from me and he filled the form and submitted to the embassy by applying online. And this visa guys is not a sticker visa. It is only an e-visa that Indians are eligible. There are about 15 countries where um, people are eligible, countries are eligible to get e-visa and India is one of them. So you will get a printout and e-visa and this visa typically is valid for 30 days. And you also have to uh, tell and inform them you want a single entry, multiple entry, one year visa, uh, two year visa or what kind of visa are you looking for. But before let's say you're flying on December 12th, so you will have to apply a visa 
at least 30 days prior the minimum is 30 days prior to your travel so the application would start ideally from 12th of november you can start applying for a singapore visa for a travel date of december 12th targeted travel date of december 12th so before 30 days try to apply for the singapore visa that's the that's that's very important and these are the documents that you need to provide to the travel agent uh, and you need to hand over your passport even though it is not sticker visa you will need to hand over the passport to him so they will verify and they will like pin the e-visa along with your passport and give you the passport back and one more very important thing to notice the processing time for singapore visa is quite high guys so as per in the official website they've given the processing time is three working days but it might take somewhere between three to ten working days depending upon how fast your local agent can um can produce um can submit or produce the documents to the singapore uh, to the singapore uh, embassy through the portal and get your visas done so in this in this video we covered like what is the fees uh, what is the processing time what are the documents required and the most very uh, the the last point i want to cover is the very important thing is the bank statement so a lot of people ask bank statement and a lot of few agents ask bank pay, bank statement a few agents don't ask but a lot of agents do uh, ask bank statement it is not given officially in the singapore website that you need a bank statement for indians but a lot of uh, uh, agents ask for the bank statement for at least six months which should be signed and sealed by the bank so when i say signed and sealed by the bank you will have to go to the bank you will have to tell them you want six months of bank statement like for example hdfc bank uh, um, so when i go to hdfc bank for my when i went to hdfc bank for my turkish visa i asked six months of my bank statement so they provided uh, me the by statement along along with the seal and signature and that is compulsory that's what even the travel agent uh, would probably ask with you so you can provide him the documents and after three to ten working days you would get call from a travel agent saying your visa is done so come and collect the passport so there is no courier service available as per my knowledge but uh, a local agent would call you and you have to collect go and collect to, to his agency uh, which he will be handing over the e-visa and the passport so now the next question comes is when you go to the immigration what you, what should you submit so when let's say you're going from bangalore to singapore and in bangalore you will have to show the printout uh, during the boarding and they will verify in the immigration and they will let you board and once you arrive in singapore the process is too too smart and airport is too good guys okay do not miss to visit the singapore airport changi airport is one of the best airports in the world and when you come to the immigration of the singapore airport you don't even have to show them the printout they will already have the data if they just scan your passport they will already come to know that you have an issue so when i tried to show my printout they said i don't need the printout because it is integrated with the passport so cool right yeah so this this um, you don't even have to go you carry the printout but you don't have to show them because they're eventually going to scan your passport and get to know that your passport is already having a valid singapore visa if you don't adopt the visa you will not be entertained you will be deported back to your home country that is india if you're coming from india so please you guys do not take these chances or try to submit any fake documents try try to keep the documents as original as possible and try to give legitimate documents to your travel agent so i hope this video was very very helpful if you want information about the local agents or if you want to get your singapore visas done very quickly so please do ping me on instagram i'll respond to you as soon as possible and um do follow me and ping me on instagram because i am not getting notified so please do that and if you want you can respond to the comments i'll try to respond as soon as possible thank you for watching the video guys i'll catch you guys in my next video